Hi, Janavi. I hope you're doing well. This is a problem with Caleb. Uh, it's actually with their G, uh, the vendor bills report. So I just want to show you the navigation real quick so you can see what I'm, the port that I'm working with. Um, the reports, you go to reports, reports overview, it brings you here. You go to vendor bills and cost of goods and profit report. Okay, so this specific report. So while it's getting pulled up, I'll show you it is actually um, script. 433. Let's be the next one. Perfect. When we look at it, just to show you where I'm going, we can see, and this is what Scott showed me. This is running off the custom open bills, open to pay, right? And um, that this is the report we're looking for. And some of these uh, columns. This is uh, something that was created before us, and some of these columns aren't populating. So some of these columns populated, and this is, um, yeah, this is essentially what they want ultimately. So, uh, so yeah. So when we looked at the script, which I just showed you, right? It's custom open bills. When you look at it, it's actually called the open. Vendor, vendor bills open. Okay. And so if you look here, you see how it's set up here for our communications, document number, date, uh, any balance dates open, everything. And you also want to understand this better than I do. I just want to get you up to speed. So when we meet tomorrow, it makes sense. And, uh, It's pulling the report. You can see it's the same one, right? It matches this almost exactly. Besides, there's some extra stuff over here, like the gross income and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it almost matches it exactly, right? So, um, but then in this script, which I don't understand, and I also want you to explain the script to me, um, it creates this report, right? All right. So, this. Are these are what he wants the report to look like? And I'll include this, right? He wants it to have the type, the name, it's the type of transaction, the name, the document number, the date of the bill, the due date, days past due, the amount total, the amount remaining. Like, so after they had the bill payment, after they paid, so let's say they owe $100. Hundred dollars, and they pay eighty. They only have twenty dollars in the bill remaining, right? Name of the customer, the job number, the total revenue, the cost of goods sold. And this is the other stuff, right? So the cost of goods sold, and this is when um, they stop popping from the safe search. So we gotta get the total revenue in there, the gross profit, the gross profit, gross profit, and then the gross profit margin. So these are all the totals items they want in there. Let me show you. So what I've been working on is uh, the vendor bills. There it is. This test one. So that's what I've been working on. All right. Give it a moment to load. Okay, so while it, 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 it loads, I want to show you something real quick that I did. So um, let's go to a, a vendor bill. Transactions. So um, one of the roots, and once, we, once this pull up, we'll discuss it, but one of the roots of the issues 
um, with the reason why it wasn't populating is because if we look here, the date of the bill is actually populated. Um, it's a formula field, right? And so formula fields don't populate. So what I had to do was I created, show you here, this uh, date of bill or this due date, what was being populated automatically based off the terms, right? So this was a formula field, so it wouldn't populate. So what I had to do was I went in here and created a custom field, which is if this populates based off of that. And so this actually holds, stores its value, so it show up on the list. So that's one thing I did, and this populates here. So you can see I have date of the bill, and then, I mean, the, date, the due date, and the day is overdue. Um, it would, I tried to create it from this field and populate it, but since this is also a formula field, it wouldn't pop it, populate it. So I, I uh, used a uh, formula field, right? But this is essentially what I've got in here so far. And the thing is, these aren't grouped. And whenever I try to like replace this search with the other search, I kept getting like a failure. So this is kind of where I've left it off at, Janavi. I hope it makes sense. Uh, and you can kind of take a look at it, explain the code to me, and figure out how we can get um, essentially this, you know, with these columns, essentially, right? So this is the type, right? So the type would be vendor bill, name, document number, et cetera, et cetera, and have all these fields populate correctly. Thank you, Janavi. Talk to you soon. Talk to you tomorrow.